Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tico here with some more Magic the Gathering 2013. So here I'm bringing you guys a gameplay with the latest DLC deck. I think it is the, the latest one. It's called the Act of War. I think it was uh, the Act of War and um, Sky and Scale, the two new DLC decks that are released for $2.99 on the PlayStation Store. So I went ahead and purchased the DLC and bought the decks, of course, and. Uh, I unlocked both all cards for each deck, so here's a dual you a game uh, playing with my Active War library. So, anyways, uh, the Active War library, I'm I'm honestly kind of kind of mixed up on this one. Uh, on on one hand, on one hand, the deck itself is very very quick. Like it's, at the very beginning, the moment you summon creatures, the moment you start the game, you already have creatures at like one or two or three mana cost, like a bunch of them in your hand. It's very simple. Very easily and very early into the games, so you're always going to be able to have like creatures you're going to be able to attack with like right away. But at the same time, then later on into the in, if you can't win early in the game, then the game just gets tougher and tougher and tougher. This deck for some reason does not really have any way of any monster, any creature, creature destruction cards. It doesn't have cards that actually tell you, hey, I'm going to destroy this creature or exile this creature. The few cards that it has that are kind of like destruction based are the ones that do like damage. I do like three points of damage to a creature or something. Or they'll do three points of damage to a creature or a player and you gain that much life. Or three points of damage to a creature and they'll uh, cancel out the ability to, for the, the, the opponent's creature's abilities to attack for the turn. So, I mean, that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, as far as actual destruction comes, there's really not a lot of destruction here. Um, most of the deck is centered around haste. It's centered around around haste, first strike, and double strike. And then you also have some cards that also have. I'm pretty sure they also have the. Uh, they also have the ability to uh, to life link. So, you I think it's one. It's like a giant. It's like a giant card. And then there's like another uh, enchantment that you equip it to your creature, and it gains like plus one, plus one if it's a red, and plus one, plus one if it's a. If it's a white, and then it, if it's if it's a white, it gains plus one plus plus one with life link. But if it's also a red, it gains plus one plus one plus the ability to pay like one mana, and it gains like an extra plus one for their for their toughness, for uh, how t how strong the creature is. But I mean, like aside from that, there's like a lot of power up. There's like a lot of power ups. There's like a lot of power ups that tell you, hey, if you attack with a creature, uh, your creatures will all get damn gain like. That's, that's an enchantment, an enchantment that as long as it remains on the field, you attack with all your creatures and they gain two attack, all of them. And while it's your opponent's turn, all your creatures gain two, two toughness. And, you know, they gain like two, uh, two health, you know, to where they can block, they can survive easier. And I'm like, you know, that's actually pretty cool, but there's really not, nothing, no, there, I'm, like I'm saying, there, there is no destruction. Take, for example, that card that just got sent to the graveyard. That card is a 2-2 creature. And anytime I summon a creature that's two, that's two, uh, two attack or less, that has two toughness or less, then I get to draw a card by paying an extra mana, and that's actually cool and all. I mean, there's just like a lot of power ups. You can make your creature stronger when they attack by two. Uh, you, there's a there's a creature that makes all your creatures more powerful if they're black, if they're uh, red, it gets it gets plus one. White, they get plus one. I mean. If you play like a red, if you play like a red card while the hover creature is out, then your creature, uh, you get the ability to do three damage to your opponent. I mean, there's a bunch of haste, double strike, first strike, uh, some direct damage, and then there's also the, uh, there's also a little bit of life link. But what, there, there is just no destruction. Like in this game right here, I had to somehow work around that card right there because if I hit that card, I will have to, I will have to sacrifice a lot of creatures. And that's not good for this deck because this deck does not have a lot of creatures itself. I think there is one card though that you pay to. It, it may makes like a bunch of one one goblin, goblin tokens, but you gotta pay like one one. You gotta pay like two mana, one red mana and one white mana. You you pay that and you and then you pay one mana per each token that you wanna make, and it makes uh it makes one one uh, goblin tokens for each mana that you paid extra from the two from the two cost of the card. So I mean. If you have eight mana, you pay two to play the card, and then you pay another six to create six tokens and draw one one. They can't attack that turn. But I mean, you can also use the ability of the card to give them all like first strike, and then when they all attack, they'll gain two attack. I mean, that's actually pretty nice. Or when they all block, they'll gain like an extra two toughness, you know, ability to survive. So I mean, that's decent. But I mean, I'm I'm just rambling here, but as from from I would say like six games that I played with this deck. I was only able to win like two. Like for me, it has like a 30 30% win ratio. 
and for me that's just not enough to qualify for saying this deck is any good. So here is where I play the card that lets me bring out my goblin uh, tokens. So I cost paid the two mana right there, then pay another six mana to bring out my six tokens. As you guys can see, my six tokens are out, and that's what I use to block out the five-five creature that I'm going up against right now. I mean, I really hate that five-five creature because if you block it. Any damage you do to it, you gotta sacrifice that many creatures. So if you do like four damage to it, you gotta sacrifice four of your creatures. So I had to at this point I was actually hoping and praying I would draw that card. I actually play two of them in my library. But I was hoping and praying that I would draw that card. That way I would be able to block that creature out for a while. And not be able to do too much damage to it while blocking it. Because that's the only way you can actually win. So let's see here if the opponent decides to actually attack me. Yeah, he decides not to attack me. He plays this card, his enchantment, and leaves it there. Let's see what I do next. How much longer do I got? This game doesn't even have that much longer. So here we got the Glory of the Warfare, which is the card that gives all my creatures plus two. And that card is awesome. Um, it gives plus two when they attack and plus two to tough the defense whenever they defend. And then the other card for the Goblins, that's the one I can pay one extra mana. And all my creatures gain fair strike. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So here all my creatures gain the plus two for attack, so I go ahead and attack with all of them. And I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to think what is going to happen with the uh, with the creature that's going to block. Because that's one thing I, I don't understand, like the resolution of the effect happens instantly as soon as the battle takes place, as soon as the damage step ends. So I mean if, if, I, if I hit him with, for three, I gotta sacrifice three of my creatures right away. So I was like thinking, hey, which three of my creatures do I wanna sacrifice right away after I hit that card? So here I go ahead and pick uh, the creature, my f main creature that just attacked, which I got I choose to sacrifice, and two of the tokens. So I still got another four, uh, three, one uh, goblin tokens ready to attack. So we can do four times three is twelve, so that lives to the opponent at negative two. And uh, actually, I do. I, what do I choose here? Yeah, apparently, I chose the enchantment since I didn't need it anymore. Yeah, so I did attack with all five. So I leave the opponent at negative five. Wow, nice. Even better than I thought. Well, thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll catch you guys later. Adios.